Hey, what's going on, Tack Warehouse fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New at TW. So it's August, one of the toughest times to be out there on the water. We got a few new baits, some innovative things, and some stuff hopefully help you catch a few more fish this time of the year. If you're not out chasing velvet bucks, uh, this is a, you know it's a tough time to be out on the water, but also not as much boat traffic out there, so it could still be good out there. First one, we're gonna go over it. So we got a new another kit from Yum. This is the new. Christie Classic. So if you're looking for a kit that's just got kind of everything you need, if you want to just keep it simple, especially this time of the year, there's no need to overcomplicate things. You just got to go out there and grind it out. This is a good kit for that. Or if you're going pond fishing, uh, you're trying to get a kid into fishing, you know, they. this is all the stuff that Jason Christie likes to carry in his boat. So it's got some, some Christie Craws, some Yum Dingers, uh, uh, some Christie Critters, and some Baby Critters. So and they're all in the colors that he likes to use as well. So you're not getting any kind of like off colors that you, you know, that you don't like or anything. It's got all the, you know, the, the, the most popular colors and most popular sizes of all these Yum Christie baits. Um, just a great kit to throw in your boat, you know, uh, to have some, so if you're looking to maybe restock some soft plastics or you just want a kit that's just got everything in it and not needed to mess around with a whole bunch of other bags of plastics. This has got all you need. It's got some hooks and weights in there. So, you know, a great little kit to go out there and get on the water. The next soft plastics we got. So this one is from Bass Tricks. This is the, the Spin Tricks paddle tail swim bait. So yeah, Bass Tricks has been around for a long time and they, uh, they're under new ownership now and we just got them back in stock. And this is one of my favorite little swim baits of all time. So these Spin Tricks, if you're not familiar, these are perfectly matched up to fit on the uh, Blade Runner Spin Tricks heads. Um, so they, they made up perfectly and they've got a lot of colors that, that match them as well. Um, we got these in, I believe, four, five, and six inches. Uh, these are awesome swim baits. So it is similar to a hollow body. It's a hollow body design, but it has that flat head on it. So these match up really, really good with any kind of your lead heads or underspins or things like that. Just a really good swim bait. I'm stoked we finally got these back in. Uh, this is one of my favorite little underspin trailers out there on the market. Uh, next up, from Nori's. So we got the new Flip Gill. So we got it in two sizes. We got it in this... I believe it's a 3.8 size and then this big five inch size. So big bluegill profile. It's got these two little twin tail, like a twin tail grub on the back. Gets really good action. Awesome little flipping bait, you know, just something different. Really gives off that bluegill profile. And then we also have them in, you know, tons of kind of green pumpkin and watermelon variations. So you get that really good bluegill profile. Uh, one thing you definitely want to check out, we did film an interview with Minanoi from Japan Import Tackle. And he, bring, he brings in all the, um, a whole bunch of different JDM baits, and he talks about these baits and some of the things they're doing with these in Japan, especially this big one, is running them on a chatter bait or any kind of vibrating jig and burning them across the surface, you know, not very, you know, not very deep. And, you know, that big profile, the bass see that up there, and they just smash this thing. So different things you can do with it besides flip it. Make sure to check out that interview on the, in the video vault. Next one, we got a new crankbait, highly anticipated crankbait. So from Six Cents, we got the Axis 2.0 crankbait, square bill crankbait. So we've been waiting for this thing for a long, long time. We're stoked that we finally got it here. This crankbait's actually been three years in the development of, of creating this thing. So this is gonna kind of blur the lines between a vibrating jig and a square bill crankbait. And the, what makes this crankbait unique is right here on the lip, it's got a metal lip, but this lip swings back and forth. So not only is it super loud, it's got a rattle in it, and that metal lip just gets this bait. It's got a really wide wobbling action. And since it swings back and forth, this bait hunts side to side and deflects and shoots out a couple feet on each side. Even in open water, you can twitch your rod and this thing goes all over the place. It doesn't just run in a straight line like your standard square bill crankbait. So something unique, totally different. They worked a really long time on getting this bait just right. As always from Six Sense, all the details, you're gonna get the same details as all the other baits get. That nice gill, um, 3D gills, 3D eyes, really, really nice paint jobs, uh, really sharp EWG style treble hooks on there, black split rings, just ready to go right out of the box like all the other Six Sense baits. But this one's unique. You definitely wanna go pick this one up, especially right now, fishing stuff. This could be something you know the fish have never seen before and help you put a few extra fish in the boat. All right, now we got a couple new uh, lipless crankbaits of the, the Magnum variety. So from Dual Hardcore, this is their new, uh, their Vibe Lipless 75 size. So bigger bait, bigger profile, weighs three quarters of an ounce. So you you can bomb this thing. 
most lipless crankbaits, you can throw these things a mile, but this, you know, this bigger, heavier one, you're just gonna get it even farther away from the boat. Um, you can fish a little bit deeper water. Uh, generally around this time of the year, also the grass is gonna start dying back and you can fish those deeper grass line edges. This is a great bait for that. Um, inside this dual hardcore uh, Vibe 75, it also has two different rattle systems in it. So it does have the regular standard BBs and a big one knocker. So it is really loud and you're just kind of getting, you're getting both rattles and you're getting more vibration out of this bait. And it's got some just nasty, sticky, sharp trebles on there. So you don't need to change anything out. Uh, the, the dual hardcore paint jobs are super, super durable as well. So these are gonna resist against hook rash. You can bang them into stuff. You can catch a ton of fish and that, that finish on the outside is gonna stay on there for a long time. Check out a new lipless from dual hardcore. The next lipless we got, this one's actually from Livingston. So this is the Livingston Pro Ripper uh, Magnum size. And as you can see, even compared to this dual hardcore, it's you know, just about as long, actually it's even a little shorter, but this one actually weighs an ounce. So, um, you know, even heavier of a bait. What's unique about this guy, it doesn't have any rattles in it, so it's silent, but since it's living stiff, it's got that EBS, uh, that bait fish sound technology in it. So it's water activated, you throw it out there, and you're just gonna get that shad sound that's just going off as you reel through the water. So another thing that, you know, maybe help you get a few extra bites when it's tough out there, uh, when you know you're, they're hearing rattling crankbaits or even silent crankbaits come by, they're not gonna hear very many crankbaits that have that sound technology in them. So uh, just to help you get a few extra fish in there. But it's awesome they got this new Magnum size, weighs an ounce. You'll be able to just, you know, pretty much dump your spool when you throw this thing. So check that one out from, uh, from Livingston. All right, we got a couple things from Lou's that debuted at the ICAST show. This first one is the new Team Lou's signature series of rods. So this series of rods just came out and I believe they have about a dozen casting models and they got four spinning models. And each model in this lineup is designed by one of the Lou's pros. This one that's in my hand is the KVD jerkbait rod. So each rod in the series is tuned to a specific technique by a pro. So there's a, you know, KVD's got a jerkbait rod. I believe he's got a, a small cranking rod, a topwater rod. Um, there's, there's rods from Greg Hackney. Andy Montgomery and I believe Mark Rose. So they got everything from flipping rods, uh, frog rods, crank, you know, deep cranking rods. Um, they're built with Luz's multi-layer graphite technology on the blanks, so really, really strong, uh, lightweight blanks. There is a couple composite models as well that they're that uh, for cranking specifically, and they also have their resin uh, concentrated system blank technology on here. So. Um, help reduces the weight a little bit, and then you're going to get overall better strength and. Uh, and kind of reduce the, the ovalization that could happen and get better durability in the tip of your rod. Uh, down on the grip, they got the wind grips, um, Fuji reel seats, they got stainless steel guides, aluminum oxide, uh, aluminum oxide inserts, uh, just a really, really slick rod series. Like I said, you know, there's a bunch of different models. So if you're looking for a technique specific rod, there's gonna be one in this lineup for you. Um, and they're really comfortable and lightweight. I was checking out this KVD rod with this wind grip. It is super comfortable and really lightweight. Um, the, Phenomenal jerkbait rod, you know, designed by the man KVD himself. To go along with that, we got the new Custom Pro SLP. So the SLP stands for super low profile frame, and this reel is incredibly low profile. Um, fits in your hand, palms really well. So it's got an aluminum frame in the middle, but it's got uh, carbon side plates on the outside. So they keep the weight down really, really low on this reel. So it's also got the carbon fiber 95 millimeter handle on there, EVA knob. So this reel only weighs, uh, I believe 5.6 ounces. So incredibly lightweight. It's got 20 pounds of drag. So it's got tons of power. A um, couple of the cool features on here. It's got their, um, their line clip system that kind of slips out of the back side of the reel right there. One of the slickest things I've ever seen uh, on a reel. Luz has got that on a bunch of reels. If you've never seen that, that's an awesome little uh, hook keeper they put on there. And then on the side, on the dial right here, on your spool tensioner, there's another dial, so you can uh, you can dial to what size and what size and what style of line you have on the reel as well. Just awesome little features. You know, they really pay attention to detail. Like I said, this reel is super super lightweight. It's got their P2 uh, super pinion system in there. So what that does is it's extra bearings that holds the gears and the pinion gear everything's in place and you're not gonna get any of those torquing issues when you have the reel under heavy load. 
So if you're really cranking on a fish or, you know, like frogging or flipping or something like that, and you're trying to crank and, you know, there's max pressure on the reel, you're still going to be able to crank and it's not going to, it's not going to torque it not going to torque the spool where you won't be able to crank the handle. It's got 11 bearings in it. It's incredibly smooth. Definitely going to want to check this out. I mean, when you slap it on the reel, when they say super low profile, I mean, this thing goes on there and it is a full size reel. I believe it holds 110 yards of 12 pound, but this feels like a small 50 or 70 size reel in your hand. I mean, it fits on there really well. And like I said, it's super lightweight. It's so just a phenomenal reel by Loose. Make sure to check out that custom pro SLP. All right, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New Tackle Warehouse. As always, for more information or to purchase these products seen here and today, make sure to click shop or link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.